everyone. I am Tanya Smith Evans, and I'd like to welcome you to the NFC, which is the nonprofit fundraising channel. And I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to my co-host, Kurt Whedon. Great to be with you, Tanya, and also great to have a chance uh, to spend five minutes outlining ways nonprofit organizations uh, can use this moneymaker video to up the odds uh, for getting a grant from one of the nation's over 100,000 private foundations. And since foundations represent about 15% uh, of all donations made to nonprofits, they really are an important source of support. Well, I would say that is pretty important indeed, yes. Tanya, to come up with a workable strategy for reaching out to foundations, we really need to separate the foundation field into its component parts. As you can see from this frame, foundations come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a short explanation of each one? Well, public foundations are actually 501c3 nonprofits that have the word foundation in their titles, but really aren't private foundations at all. Uh, most public foundations get support from many, many contributors. And private foundations, on the other hand, are funded by one, two, or a small group of funders. Operating foundations are set up largely to run their own shows. They spend at least 85% of their adjusted net income or investment returns on programs that they themselves conduct. And corporate foundations? Well, of the nation's 6 million corporations, only about 2,400 have company foundations. All right. Well, that actually brings us to the 89,000 foundations, independent ones, that you had on your slide. A lot of them, it looks like, are pretty small. Very, very small compared to this list of the biggest of the big hitter foundations that are out there. For all of our viewers and nonprofit friends from board, staff, and volunteers, can you give us your insight and ideas about how they might actually raise money? Remember a few minutes ago, we pointed out that 66% of independent and family foundations are small. And with assets of only a million dollars or so, they're, uh, they're very unlikely to have the kind of investment returns that would allow them to make a lot of donations. And also, they have no full-time staff for the most part, and funding decisions are usually made by just one or small group of family members. What would you say then, Kurt, is the best way for folks to try to connect with these smaller foundations? Well, look, most of these smaller foundations are locally focused. Mm -hmm. So if a small foundation is housed in your community, that's where a nonprofit board member can really, really be helpful. And would that board member then be helping to open the door to the foundation? That's exactly right. What about big foundations, Kurt? Tanya, it's crucial that nonprofits do their homework uh, before reaching out to larger foundations. Big foundations are staffed with program officers who most often really know what they're doing. So when nonprofits are thinking then about foundations and approaching them for friends raising, it's important to remember that size is important. Can you help give nonprofits some ideas about how they might approach these foundations when they're looking for support? First, ask your board to help open the door uh, to smaller foundations and treat those smaller foundations much the way you would as if they were individual major donor prospects. Second, Approach larger foundations with a concept, but try to enlist any of those larger foundations as a partner in crafting a final proposal. And third, remember foundations exist to give away money. That's their obligation. So try, by making an ask, in a way, you're actually helping the foundation do its job. This NFC five-minute nonprofit moneymaker is just one of many available on YouTube. Click the subscribe icon and get more informative fundraising tips from the nonprofit fundraising channel. This is Kurt Whedon saying thanks for watching.